the um, Prussian general uh, Clausewitz famously said that war is a continuation of politics, a policy by other means. What I want to talk about is the scorched earth campaign by the left against the Trump lawyers. This is um, uh, something that is known as Project 65. It's aimed at going after the Trump lawyers who supposedly assisted Trump in challenging the uh, election results. And what this is, is it's kind of the opposite of what Clausewitz was saying. He said war is policy by other means, but this is turning politics into all-out warfare. It's essentially treating the legal profession, which has always taken the view that, listen, people do have the right to a lawyer. A lawyer is an advocate. A lawyer should not be confused necessarily with the cause of the client. The client wants you to defend, uh, hey, listen, I've been accused of burglary. I want you to defend me. That doesn't make the lawyer into a burglar. Uh, hey, I want to challenge the election results. I want you to represent me. The lawyer is an advocate. That's the lawyer's role. And that's the legal system. That's the rule of law in this country. So going at after Trump lawyers for arguing on behalf of their client, this is a gross violation of a basic principle. This is going beyond the politics of left and right. This is essentially saying, we don't even want rule of law in this country. We want to penalize the lawyers for the cases that they've identified with. And this is a project that's being led by this um, sleazy David Brock, who actually is very explicit about its goals. He basically says, we're trying to shame these people. And by the way, if they belong to big firms, we probably can't get them. But he goes, if they, if they belong to small firms, we can ruin their life. We can ruin their reputation. Quote, I think the little fish are probably more vulnerable to what we're doing. You're threatening their livelihoods and you know they've got reputations in their community. So think of the shamelessness of this, of this, of this character, David Brock. By the way, a guy I knew before he was, um, he pivoted left. Uh, largely on the basis of his nocturnal pursuits. Now, Alan Dershowitz is outraged by what the Project 65 is doing, and uh, and he says he's actually going to use his um, legal influence uh, and potentially his own representation to support these lawyers, because I think he recognizes the principle at stake. I want to quote from Dershowitz. He goes, it was 22 years ago when lawyers like me sought to block the election of President George Bush, believing as we did that Al Gore actually received more votes than Bush in Florida and was the rightful winner. He goes, we lost in court, but back then no one suggested going after the hundreds of lawyers who tried to prevent Bush's certification. He goes, this is a dangerous weapon on, like the 65 Project unleashed by Democrats will surely be used by Republicans at some future time. Let's remember, Democrats are regularly denouncing election results. Stacey Abrams denounced the election result of the gubernatorial election that she lost in Georgia. Hillary Clinton denounced the results of the 2016 election. Here is the... Um, Here's Dershowitz referring back to uh, what happened in 2000 with Bush v. Gore. So I think it's right, uh, and Dershowitz is right, that this is a dangerous precedent to set. Now, I do think that Republicans need to make good on this uh, in showing the Democrats that, listen, if you do this kind of stuff, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Uh, this is a point I've made before in the podcast. It's Republicans teaching the Democrats a lesson, not because we want this politics of Clausewitzian warfare to be con to continue, but because we want the bully to get off the playground. We want the bully to realize that, listen, bully though you may be, you're not going to be able to always get away with it because if you stamp on our feet, 10 of us will get together and stamp on your feet. So this is a way of leveling the playing field and restoring, in this case, something very central to our society, which is the basic sanctity of the rule of law.